Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through this tutorial on depreciation 1 and today's lesson will be on product formula. Now product formula is a formula which helps us to determine the derivative of the product of two factors. So let y be the product of two functions a u and v of the variable x. So in other words u is a function of x and also v is a function of x. So their product will be uv. So y will be equal to uv. Now suppose a small increment, small change in x, produces an incre produces increments, small change in u in u, and small change in v in v, and small change in y in y. It implies that y will be incremented by small change in y to give you that. U will be incremented by small change in u to give you that, and v will be incremented by small change in v to give you that. At this step we shall open brackets to get uv plus u small change in v plus v small change in u plus small change in u small change in v. But we know that y is equal to uv so come here and substitute for y put there uv. You'll get that and you realize that this uv is also here the uv so they can cancel. When they cancel you come up with this line. At this line, we shall now divide both sides by small change in x. So this will become small change in y, small change in x. And for this side, it will be u small change in v plus v small change in u plus small change in u small change in v. Everything divided by small change in x. After that, we shall now split the numerator. So this divided by that will give you this. This divided by this will give you that. And this divided by this will give you this. So now as small change in x tends to 0, small change in u, small change in v, and small change in y also approach to 0. While small change in y, small change in x tends to dy dx, small change in u, small change in x tends to du dx, and small change in v, small change in x tends to dv dx. So in that case we shall now substitute them here. This will become now dy dx. This will become u sorry this will become v it will become u dv dx this will become v du dx and this will become du dx multiplied by zero because we say this also approach zero so this will become zero to give you that and every number divided multiplied by zero is zero so the whole of this becomes zero and remain with dy dx equal to v du dx plus u dv dx so this is the formula, this is the product formula and it is used to differentiate the product of functions. So let's try to see this problem. Differentiate this with respect. So here we shall put with respect to x. So in that case we shall first let y to be equal to x squared in brackets x minus 1 cubed which is the function given. So now this will be a product. This is 1. So we shall let this to be u and this will be v. So in that case we shall differentiate u with respect to x. So differentiate this with respect to x will get 2x. And differentiate this also with respect to x will get 3. So in this case we shall bring down the power. I think you remember the concept behind chain rule. So bring down the power which is 3. Reduce the power by 1 to give you that. Differentiate the inner bracket which is 1. So multiply by 1 it remains the same. So that is dv dx. Now after that we have to code the formula for product rule. So dy dx is equal to v du dx plus u dv dx. I know my v is here. So come and substitute for v there. I know my du dx is here. Substitute for du dx. I know my u is here. Come and substitute for u. And also dv dx is here, substitute for dv dx. So we shall get that line. For this line now we shall simplify. 2x will be that. 2x times that to give you this. Then this will become 3x squared, this which is that. On that after this step we shall realize that x and x minus 1 is common in both. So pull factorize it out x, so x minus 1 squared. So x, x minus 1 squared in brackets, you, this side you remain with 2x minus 1, which is that. And this side you remain with 3x, which is that. So open this inner bracket, you will come up with 2x minus 2 
plus 3x. So collect like terms, this and this will give you 5x minus 2. So the answer will be x in brackets x minus 2 squared, then another bracket, 5x minus 2. So that will be the derivative for the pro for problem 1. Problem 2, they want us to differentiate x plus 1, everything raised to the power 3 over 2, multiplied by x minus 1, everything raised to the power 5 over 2, with respect to x. So you shall first let it to be y. After letting it to be y, you realize that this is a product. So this is one function in x, and this is also another function in x. So you should let this one to be u, and this to be v. So get du dx by differentiating this, bring down the power, which is 3 over 2, reduce the power by 1, so 3 over 2 minus 1 will get a half, then differentiate the inner bracket, inner bracket is x plus 1, multiply, when differentiate you will get 1, so in other words it remains the same. For this side, they want you, to, you have to differentiate this to get dv dx, so bring down the power, 5 over 2, reduce the power by 1, so 5 over 2 minus 1, you get 3 over 2. They multiply by the derivative of the inner bracket, which is 1, so it remains the same. After that, we have to code the formula for the product formula. So it is dy dx equal to v du dx plus u dv dx. So I know my v is this, so come and substitute for v. Substitute for du dx, which is this here, plus substitute for u, which is this here. And also substitute for dv dx, which is this here. After that, we shall collect like terms. So this, we shall rearrange it to get that for this and also this for that. Then we shall realize some common factors. A half is common in both terms, in both. And also x minus 1 is common and x plus 1 is common. So what do we do? For x minus 1, for this side, the power is 5 over 2 and this side the power is 3 over 2. So you take out the one which with the smallest power. So 5 over 2 and 3 over 2, the smallest power is 3 over 2. So it's what you pull out. So you pull out x minus 1 raised the power 3 over 2. Go to x plus 2. x plus 2 here the power is a half. X plus, sorry, x plus 1 here the power is a half. And x plus 1 here the power is 3 over 2. The smallest is this a half. So you pull out x plus 1 raised the power half, which is that. Now that you have pulled out this, what will be in brackets? In brackets you will say the whole of this term divided by what you have pulled out. When you divide this 3 over 2 divided by a half, you will get 3 which is there. Then this x minus 1 raised to the power of that divided by this, it will be the same base. You subtract the power, so subtract. You will say 5 over 2 minus 3 over 2, you will get 1. That is why you see here x minus 1 to power 1. So we have finished factorizing this part. What about for this part? You will say the whole of this divided by the whole of that, which is outside. So you shall say 5 over 2 divided by a half to get 5. Then x plus 1 raised to the power 3 over 2 divided by x plus 1 raised to the power half. It will be the same base, subtract the power. So you say 3 over 2 minus a half, you will get 1. Therefore you will get x plus 1 raised to the power 1. For this one, everything cancels because it is same base over the power. 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2, you'll get 0. And number power 0 is 1. So we only remain with this. From there, we shall open this bracket inside the box bracket. You'll get 3x minus 3 plus 5x plus 5. So collect like terms, you'll get this and this will give you 8x. And this and this will give you 2. To come join, add there what was outside, it was this. Then we can rearrange. Remember this 8x plus 2, it has something in common, and that is 2. So pull out the 2 to become 2 in brackets 4x plus 1. So that 2 will multiply by this half to get 1. Then we shall remain with this, which is x minus 1 raised to the power 3 over 2, and also this, which is x plus 1 raised to the power half. And now this one, you already factored out 2, which will become 4x plus 1. 1. So that is how they use the product formula and with that knowledge you can believe you can try these problems. So problem 1, they want to differentiate x root of x squared minus 1 with respect to x. So you try it out, the answer will be 
2x squared minus 1 everything divided by square root of x squared minus 1 problem 2 they want to differentiate x squared square sorry square root of x plus 1 in brackets multiplied by x x minus 2 everything raised to the power 3 with respect to x so you try it out the expected answer should be a half open brackets 4x plus 1 close brackets square root of x minus 2 over x plus 1 so that has been the end of our lesson thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel roa e-learning platform